Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from the usual gaming uh, videos uh, with the gameplay and so on. It's still about gaming but uh, it's about a software, Game Assistant, the tool for every gamer which can be found on Steam. Um, this program will help you tweak games and you can find it on uh, Steam by checking the link uh, in the description below. I must say guys that this video is sponsored by the makers of uh, Game Assistant and uh, in this uh, video we will uh, check out the features of this, uh, of this software and try to use it on uh, the games that are installed on our uh, computer. Uh, this utility software can save your time and keep you away from making mistakes when uh, config files or registry are uh, modified. The gold mode tweak in, uh, for example, Outlast 1 game modifies exactly 60 properties in the ini config. The FOV overrides for Stalker games requires modification of the D DLL file. So basically you cannot uh, change certain aspects of the game uh, through the settings. You must uh, get, uh, you must go rogue and modify the files uh, in, the, in the installation folder. And this software is here to make it easy to make those changes. For example, uh, it supports 217 games so far. Um, you can locate saved game files easily. You can modify the config files. You can modify registry entries. You can modify binary files. You can uh, disable startup videos. You can set up uh, modern resolution, set up uh, window mode. You can install games, launch games and kill game processes instead of going to task manager and so on. On the left side guys you can see the games that uh, a few games that I have which are supported um, by this uh, software and you see them in gray. For example the Commander series is supported, uh, Darksiders as well, Half-Life, Fallout and there is a list of games as well. You can find the list of games uh, by going towards this link. I will leave it in the description for you. And as you can see, there are a lot of games where you can do a lot of changes. For some games, you can do more changes than others. And there are all types of games, uh, RPG strategy, real-time strategy, real-time tactics, everything you want, guys. Horror games, 217 of them so far. And this list was updated on uh, 19th of May. So let's go ahead and try out some of these features. So first thing guys, after you download and uh, install the game and uh, I picked Company of Heroes 2 is to run the game so the config files and uh, every other files can be generated. So let's do so. Okay. On the right side, guys, uh, we can uh, disable the startup videos and set the full screen borderless window mode. I'm going to just go ahead and disable the startup videos. I'm going to apply the changes and I'm going to launch Company of Heroes 2 once again. And this time you'll see that it's going to get past the intro videos and it's going to get us um, straight to the main menu. As you can see, this is the part where the uh, intro videos were supposed to be. It skipped and now we are straight to the main menu. Now, let's try out with another game as well. We tried a uh, real-time strategy game and now I want to try out a um, role-playing game. We're going to try out Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic uh, 2. We can do several more things in this game. Um, we can also enable cheats. I forgot to mention this. This uh, software also allows you to enable cheats. So let's go ahead and install the game. I'm gonna do it through the game assistant. Okay. Agree. There you go. Finish. Now the game is installing 
and after it's uh, installed we need to restart game assistant and um, then run the game with the changes we made now that the game has been installed guys we can uh, move on and uh, disable the, the videos in the beginning and um, start the game we can also enable the cheats and you can also modify different other things and um, for example let's enable the window mode and um, let's apply the changes and let's launch the game this time we should not have the game is windowed and we don't have any intros uh, any videos in the beginning the game starts right away and we save up several seconds and as for the cheats you can enter the game and now the cheats guys just press tilde <clears throat> add xp oh. add xp a thousand and we have and that's how you use cheats and now let's end the game and we kill the process guys this is what uh, this software does and of course it does a lot more I do not have the knowledge uh, nor the need to uh, do more than that you can explore uh, the software you can use it for your games to skip uh, the trailer to modify the config files to modify the registry the binary files and so on it's up to you and it's based on your needs thank you very much for watching uh, make sure to check out the link in the description which will take you on the steam page of uh, the software so you can try it out yourself and again many thanks to the creators of this uh, software for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys.